ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all, so we're jumping straight into Ogwin's interview after defeating RRQ. Let's get it. So, uh, what do you think your opponent should have picked against, uh, instead of Hufra to win? First, uh, first map. In the first map. I think in the first uh, game, I think they better pick uh, Elite or mm. maybe mm. more Rafaela, something mm -hmm. like that. I think the first card they should have picked either Rafael or Edith. Вот, мы долго, кстати, а про Эдит, кстати, мы совсем забыли. Да, да совсем, есть... совсем забыли про Эдит, и это прям хороший выбор. А, второй момент, который хотел спросить, опять же, ну... Um, what they talking about? But one thing that, that is actually interesting is I wish that they would dive into why. Ask him why he thinks that. Because um, that, that's something that I think would help a lot of people as a whole start to understand how to think. Because he, he said those picks and he has reasons that he said those. And I don't think a lot of people, I think a lot of people would just try to spam those picks that he said as opposed to understanding why in that particular situation under those circumstances, he believes that would have been the best decision. That's very important. Мы не можем отпустить Лейлу просто так, это невозможно. Были ли готовы э, и когда они поняли то, что будут соперники выбирать данного персонажа? Э, знали ли они то, что есть это в пуле до того, как они пикнули против Деус Вульт? Или это было неожиданностью в рамках именно первой встречи? Можно разбить, я думаю. Uh, we're quietly prepared because uh, the hero Leila, uh, they they need to scale up, I think, to get the proper items mm -hmm. of the Leila. They need to scale up, I think, to get the proper items mm -hmm. of the Leila. Да, мы были готовы, и мы знали то, что для того, чтобы играть на Лейле, ей нужны определенные итемы. Да, uh, да, нужно ее, ну, ее нужно специально скейлить, то есть специально с ней стоять, ее прокачивать, чтобы она наносила урон. Ну, о чем мы и говорили. Да, это первая часть вопроса. Вторая часть вопроса, собственно, заключается в том, знали ли они о том, что у RRQ есть такой персонаж, или это стало сюрпризом только после, то, вернее, как они поняли, что это есть только после встречи с RRQ Deus Vult. So, did you know uh, in advance that RRQ could pick Layla, or did you know that uh, only after they picked it against Deus Vult? Uh, I think we already know that. Leila is pickable because we already we all I know they call this we also use Leila in our scream so uh, we are not uh, you know surprised of the pick Leila. Да, мы не были удивлены, мы знали то, что RQ могут пикнуть Лейлу, потому что мы то тоже использовали и брали ее на скримах, так что мы не были удивлены. Вопрос mm -hmm. по второй... Ты... Да, у, да? у меня есть своеобразная Давай. просто информация, что когда вы ехали сюда вы со своими оппонентами а, в автобусе, когда сидели, вы как раз говорили, подначивали пикнуть Лейлу и говорили, все, пик Лейла, автовин. И как вы думаете, вы просто их эмоционально заставили прям вот разозлиться и взять этого Персонажа. То есть, возможно, они не планировали ее пикать. So we've got some information that while you were coming here and uh, sitting in the bus with your opponent, you uh, tried to make them pick Layla. So uh, did you like make your opponent pick this character? Uh, no, uh, I think we're just uh, prepared for the hero Layla because our team comp can easily dive Layla, especially Ruby. I can hook flicker in. In case uh, Layla wants to free hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, That's crazy. So him just uh that he's talking about how to counter certain picks. He's talking about how to counter Layla, Layla quite easily, which is very simple when you don't have mobility like Layla, but to hook flicker in, usually Ruby's is hook flickering out and pulling people with him, but to use it as a counter for you to hook flicker, flicker in to give your team enough time to burst Layla down is that's a smart way to approach that situation. So he's teaching how to counter low key right here. Вопрос от Петра, я прям вижу. Да, у меня два вопроса. Вот по стилю игры, в чем разница между Филиппинами и Индонезией? 
So speaking about uh, the game style, gameplay, what is the difference between Indonesian gameplay and Filipinian? I think the Indonesian gameplay is really aggressive mm -hmm. in the tournaments and on the difference between the pH, I think it's the macro. Mm -hmm. They work as a team. Uh, and mm. I think the Indonesian gameplay is really aggressive mm -hmm. in the tournaments and on the difference between the pH, I think it's the macro. I think the macro is actually one of the hardest things to master in Mobile Legends. It's it's actually the the very difficult because people it's so easy to get caught lost up in your hero and mechanics and things like that and trying to push and kill the enemies. People don't realize that the macro is all it takes to win and this is why the Philippines is so dominant. Um people don't realize the true point of the game. Like when you look at the end of the game, you look at the stats, you look at certain things. And I and I do it too, but I do it just to like laugh at my friends and stuff like that and trash talk. But at the end of the day, I know that stats don't matter. Especially if you master the macro, you could have terrible stats every game and win every single game just because you've mastered the macro. Like if you push more towers than the enemy team, but you always have a bronze, you will have a bronze every game and still win. That's that's just how the game works because the game is not about you having a gold or having MVP. The game is about you pushing those towers all the way to the point where you win. That's it. So if you get that job accomplished, but you die a lot, you could literally just dominate every game just use simply using the macro. Now, you won't look like a good player, but you could be a good player who just don't value your life in the game. Mm -hmm. They work as a team, uh, you know, move move as a team. Yeah. Да, я думаю, индонезийцы более агрессивные, и у них больше макроконтроля, они работают больше как команда. Uh, у меня был еще, а, ну, перед да, тем, как да, я задам и... вопрос, там второй у Пина. Да, и второй, второй вопрос. Вот эм, Брэнны просто чемпионы мира М2, и потом о, на некоторое время пропали с радаров, и сейчас они смогли ворваться снова, на, снова просто с невероятными достижениями. Чемпионы мира М5, сейчас финал нашего соревнования. Что произошло? So, uh, AP Brand team won M2 championship, right? And after that, you kind of disappeared from all the Raiders. You stopped uh, really playing, and then uh, you won the M5. So, what happened? I think on the, after M2, they really, you know, uh, didn't train intensely in the after M2. They are really comfortable of what they play. Mm. So, the other teams uh, like dissimulate them, I mean, uh, destroy them. So they didn't make the uh, playoffs until season 10, I think. Mm. Да, после М2 команда как будто бы расслабилась, перестала тренироваться, и поэтому их часто выигрывали. А, можно, до, а до что, произошло? Вой... что произошло? Десятого... Почему они снова стали топом? Uh, uh, why did you continue <laughs> training and uh, after that won M5? Uh, because we didn't want to lose our touch when it comes to our gameplay and you know there are plenty of tournaments that are really big that they w we want to compete да мы просто хотели участвовать в больших соревнованиях и не хотели снимать руку с пульса мы хотели держать руку на пульсе последний вопрос задам прежде чем мы уйдем вместе с вами на паузу это по поводу отсутствия пика иксборга во второй карте стоило ли возможно взять и почему не взяли есть ли какое-то объяснение этому so the last question is why didn't you pick iksborg in the second game in the second game uh we didn't pick export yet because uh their explain is hasn't showed up so we're really uh not uh going to pick that export because i think it's not that uh you know uh, comp uh not in our team composition i, I mean the enemy's uh explain мы на самом деле не собираемся пикать эксборга потому что наша команда не играет с этим персонажем на третьих только не на всех картах, <laughs> так сказать, не на всех картах. Да, а я хочу напомнить то, что у нас есть супер предложение от мобильного оператора Йота. Безлимитный интернет на ваши любимые... That was a really weird question. My man asked them why they didn't pick Xborg as if that was a necessary pick, which is wild. 
любимые социальные сети. ВК, Ютуб, Телеграм и, конечно же, Twitch. И подписка на Литрес тоже идет в дополнение. А, обязательно все это дело реализуйте, потому что это все находится в одном тарифе. С Йота можно все. Спасибо большое за интервью. Мы а, будем сейчас уже уходить на паузу. Thank you very much for the interview. Спасибо. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Поздравляем, да. Ну а мы скоро к вам вернемся. All right, y'all. So there we have it, man. This was the interview with um, Arguin. And it was a good one. This was actually really good. He gave a lot of information, you know, kept it straight to the point. So, yeah. Let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel, man. More coming soon for sure, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.